Hey guys, here Mark the Geek. In this video, I want to share with you guys a tool free 2.5 SATA hard drive external enclosure that I received today from Amazon. Um, this is branded, this is the brand Oracle 2588 series. Um, I got this for $12.99, which is not bad, and it also comes in all these colors like you see here. Uh, this right here is the red one, and this right here is the um, internal hard drive of the PlayStation 4. This is a 500 uh, gigabyte, uh, 5400 RPM um, hard drive, but Keep in mind, you can um, use any hard drive that you take out of a laptop. Uh, the great thing about this one is that this is a tool free. That means that you don't need no tools whatsoever. Very easy to do. And this one is a USB 3.0 compatible, which is awesome because uh, 3.0 is way faster than 2.0, like we all know. Um, it's like 10 times faster, if I'm not mistaken. Um, USB 2.0 is like 480 megabits per second and 3.0 you're gonna get uh, around 480 gigabits per second um, like you see I buy these a lot um, this right here this is a 2.0 uh, external hard drive that I converted I converted one of my um, laptops I think this is a 320 gigabyte hard drive but I do this a lot I, I have like three of these and these were cheap these were like seven dollars if I'm not mistaken but keep in mind this is only 2.0 this is 3.0 so let's go ahead and see what's in the box over here uh, like you can see right here it says that uh, this is the 2588 series part name tool free uh, 2.5 get um, inches and say the hard drive because I don't know uh, output USB 2.0 and USB 3.0 so it's compatible with USB 2.0 as well and I if I'm not mistaken it's also compatible with the very very old one 1.0 which is very very old 1.1 something like that uh, device is supported of course a 2.5 um, SATA hard drive thickness it has to be no bigger than 9.5 millimeters just like the PlayStation 4 um, OS supported Windows Mac Linux and Unix uh, materials metal and plastic this is made of metal plastic uh, dimension 130 by 83 by 13 millimeters uh, weight only 82 grams uh, color black I hope this is not black because I got the red <laughs> And that's it. Um, everything here is, uh, you know, so hot swap, plug and play. So it's very, it should be very, very easy to use. Uh, let's go ahead and take this out. Okay. Oh, yes. Like I said, it's red. So here, let me put this to the side. Um, always, when you replace your hard drive, um, always try to keep them. If you if you're not gonna put it in an in external hard drive a closure uh, very fast, make sure you you store them in a, uh, one of these bags that comes with your uh, the hard drive that you bought for replacing this one. Make sure you use that same bag and you just put it right there, and that way it'll keep safe. That way it doesn't cause us any problem. It comes with this right here. I think this I'll be using it later on. Of course, it comes with a USB cable 3.0. Very good. Like you see right here. One thing to keep in mind, if you have a Galaxy Note 3, um, this is the same connector as in the Galaxy Note 3 phone. So if you have a Galaxy Note 3, most likely now you're gonna have a extra uh, a charging cable for your Galaxy S3. Note 3 and you for the hard external hard drive as well. And it, I think I've heard reviews that the only bad thing about this that the cable could actually go bad. But uh, you know, that's not a problem that everybody's having. Let's go and take this out. Okay, here it is. And here it is. So this is the Oracle. Like you see right here, easy your PC. Nice. Here is the connector. And voila. Let's see how this thing works. 
Let's see, this should slide. Let me see. Okay. There it goes. So it slides all the way down. And if I'm not mistaken, this is for here. Let me read the instructions for a second. Okay, guys, so I read the instructions, but in no place mentions anything about this right here. But honestly, if if I'm not mistaken, I'm going to use it anyway, and I'm going to use it um, right, okay, <laughs> I'm going to use it right here, because uh, remember, you're going to put the hard drive here, and just to prevent any shocks, like if you drop your hard drive, uh, maybe this will help the hard drive a lot better than not having it, so I'm going to leave it, I'm going to put that, that there. Anyways, even though it doesn't say anything about it and all you're gonna do here is just align This connector with the connector in the enclosure just like that and you're gonna do a little bit pressure here because we put the cushion there and We just go ahead and slide it up until you feel that it connects and now it did connect I can feel it It went all the way in so it should be good right there right in its place now this one over here like you see it also has a cushion over here that's why i decided to put another cushion in the bottom because now it'll be protected uh, from shocks on both sides so now we're going to go ahead and put this one over here this is going to slide through let me go ahead and try to align that okay since it has the Okay, let me go. Whoa. Okay. Yeah. That's good. That's good. It came in pretty tight, which is a good thing because you don't want the hard drive to be wiggling in the inside. And that's it. Like you see right there. Now we got a perfectly external hard drive. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, format. Let me go ahead and connect this right here uh, to make sure it fits perfectly. And there it goes. So now I'm going to go ahead and connect it to the computer. That way I could format the hard drive and get it ready to use. So here I'm going to be using my MacBook. But keep in mind you can use uh, Windows or Linux. Doesn't really matter. Uh, now that I connect it, like you see right here. It's um, right there, and over there it said the disk you inserted was not readable by this computer. Um, let me go ahead and ignore for now. And because I have to format the hard drive, keep in mind this uh, this hard drive right here, this is the uh, PlayStation 4 hard drive. So of course it's not going to be recognized. I'm going to go ahead over here and choose this one right here, which is the hard drive that I put. And I'm going to go ahead and choose Erase. Over here, I'm going to choose FAT, MSDOS FAT, which is FAT32, same thing. And I'm going to go ahead and name it. Uh, you could be, There, you could go ahead and put it whatever you want. I'm just going to go ahead and name it PS4 um, External. That way, I could remember that this hard drive was taken from a PlayStation 4. And I create it. Now let's go ahead and say, so are you sure you want to erase the disk? Blah, blah, blah. Yes, erase. And that's it. Now it's done. Like you see over here, boom. And over here, now I have full access to my hard drive. Not bad. Now that error that we had in the in the beginning, let me just go ahead and eject it again. Now, if I connect it again, it should not give me that error because I already formatted the hard drive. Let's go ahead and connect it. And there it goes. Automatically, it recognized the hard drive as an external hard drive and now it says PlayStation 4 external. Uh, the capacity it says 499.99 gigabytes free. So let's go ahead and open right here. Let's go ahead and transfer a video. And to see right here, when you're transferring a, a, a file, you can see the video, the, the little light there blinking. 
And that right there is a big video. That's a 1.46 gigabyte. And look how fast that thing transferred. That was very fast. And now the hard drive, now the video is in the hard drive. And like you can see, I could go ahead and play. Hey guys, here with Oli Oli for the... Okay, that's one of my videos. That right there was very, very fast because this, like I said, this is a 1.46 gigabyte uh, file and it transferred very, very fast. So like you see, we're done. We're totally done. Now we have our own external hard drive. Keep in mind, you could do this with any um, external hard drive that's a 2.5 um, uh, inches and no thicker than 9.5 millimeters. Um, I do this all the time with my um, hard drives that I uh, upgrade, I take away, I take out from my notebooks. I always do this, so I have a lot of these lying around. But this is my first um, external um, enclosure that I buy that it's a 3.0 for $12.99, which is for me is totally awesome price. This one is super, super easy to, to, to assemble, like you saw right there, no tools necessary. And it's very fast. All, all you gotta do is um, on your PC or Mac or Linux, once you, once you hook it up, make sure you, make sure you format the hard drive. Um, I honestly, I always format my hard drives to FAT32, but some people would rather use um, MTFS, something like that, I forgot. Uh, right now I got brain fart. But, um, and that's it, you're done. Um, let's say for PlayStation 4, 4 users, for PlayStation 4 users, if you ever need to put this hard drive back to your to your PlayStation 4 just because you have to return the PlayStation 4 or something like that, it's very, very simple. All you gotta do is back up everything you have in your hard drive to your computer or to another external hard drive and uh, erase it. Format again to FAT32, just like the PlayStation 4 is com is um, uh, compatible with FAT32, and just follow the instructions of the how to upgrade PlayStation 4 hard drive, and that's it. That's all you got to do. It's very very simple. And thank you guys for watching. This was a look at the um, upgrading or creating an external hard drive with the Oracle. This is the Oracle 2588 series uh, tool-free hard drive enclosure. Thanks for watching, guys. Till next time.